uh, going to rant about Jurassic Park today. My guest host, Dr. Ian Malcolm, with his smolderiness right there. Um, also dressed appropriately. So, we have this box set, which is very cool, of the original trilogy. Um, the first one is a classic. It's the best by leaps and bounds. Uh, if you haven't watched it, how are we friends? Honestly. Um, JK. But really. Um, yeah, if you haven't watched it in a while or before, go watch it now. It's the best movie ever. It holds up. The computers look a little dated now, but uh, the like CG itself is done really well. Spielberg is like such a master. I read somewhere there's l only like 11 minutes of actual CG in the whole film, which like it's only done in little like you know 30 second one minute chunks, so it's done pretty seamlessly too like a lot of it's during nighttime or raininess which helps the visual uh special effects guys like kind of hide their fingerprints a little better and yeah so much of it was still uh like puppets basically really high tech puppets but yeah the first one so so good um they did a live stream the other day with uh the actor who played timmy uh, that's on YouTube if you wanted to watch it. Uh, they did like a watch along. I would recommend that if you've seen it before. Otherwise, it's just people talking over the movie. Um, side rant on that. Why do they let people host these things who haven't seen the movie in a while? Like, who clearly aren't actual fans? Who don't own a Jurassic Park shirt? I ask you. Um, but yeah, everything about the first one is great. The music... The costumes are are easy to do for Halloween. Um, yeah, it's and then you have the second one, The Lost World. Um, oh, also Jurassic Park. The first one was the first movie I was genuinely excited about. I had read the book. If you guys don't know, I'm like was very into dinosaurs when I was growing up. So, like as soon as I was like, "What? Michael Crichton has a new dinosaur book." I went and bought it and read it right before the movie came out, like, finished it a day before. Um, it's really not comparable to the book in that, in my opinion, it's better. Um, but yeah, it's infinitely rewatchable, the, the first Jurassic Park. I would say it's probably one of Spielberg's most rewatchable films, in my humble opinion. Um, the second movie is The Lost World. It, it's not as good. Um, it's got, uh, like, Ian Malcolm. Ian, Ian Malcolm. Uh, like, going to the neighboring island of Isla Sorna, where apparently they also had dinosaurs, and he's trying to rescue his girlfriend and then his daughter stowed away. Apparently, even though, like, it's from New York to Costa Rica. Like, that's got to be a 10-hour flight. You don't just stow away for a, like, 10-hour flight. That's, yeah, there's silly things like that. But, I mean, overall, it's not the worst. But just to be right after the first one, it's... It's kind of very much a letdown. Uh, the third one makes no damn sense at all. It's just beyond stupid. Um, I hate everything about it. Like who, like the whole memeable scene where there's the velociraptors who like say, Alan, how did you write that? Have other people read it? And still progress to the point of filming and editing. Like, how did 
you think that wasn't a stupid part like it's all so stupid um also the whole like relationship between uh william h macy and taya leone in it is dumb and the fact that they like basically bounced a check off dr grant and he's still willing to help them like well first of all that he didn't wait for that check to clear just just saying and then they're like oh yeah jk we don't actually have that much money and it's like i'd be like nah y'all are on your own good luck with the dinosaurs it's just it's stupid on every level um yeah what can i say um then we have wherever i said it Jurassic World, which I did enjoy. Like, it's silly. It's a lot of uh, fan service. Like, if you love the originals, you'll love this. Like, it, it's a lot of that kind of stuff. Like, oh. But, yeah. It's still not as good as the first one. I would say it's definitely better than the third one. Um, but, yeah. Just enjoyable. Honestly, I... I couldn't get through the Jurassic World 2. I don't own it. I tried to watch it. I got about a half hour in. And I was not sober enough to watch it. And I don't know if my liver can take the amount of alcohol I would need to get through that film. Because it bad. Um, It contradicts a lot of the original movies. Just for no reason and it's just it's so very dumb sorry i'm trying to close the jurassic park box here um oh yeah if you wanted to see this cool box we have of the original trilogy they, open. they do move in herds and then there's some of the movies and then there's the other movies like Whoever designed this box out there in DVD design land, kudos. I hope you got a raise, because this is one of the coolest boxes. Um, yeah, again, if you guys don't know, huge Jurassic Park nerd. So, I really loved watching it the other day with uh, the guy who played Timmy. And him talking about the movie. And that basically he enjoyed making it as much as I enjoyed watching it as a kid. Because. Yeah. Um, I still have the original VHS. I have a lunchbox. All the stuff. But yeah. If you want to stay my friend, go watch Jurassic Park. Don't You don't have to watch the other ones. I mean, you should, but you don't, you don't have to. Happy viewings.